Hey, welcome back. I'm Christy, if you're new, and this is Chaz. Hi. So today, what we're doing is we're taking um, all of this grass out of the, the pool area um, so we can get it stained um, and ready for planting, um, which will be happening in a few weeks from now. And so we're gonna get to it. And uh, so yeah, the before. <laughs> How excited are you, Chaz, to uh, get this pool set up? Well, it's going to look really nice, and I'm going to have a fun time swimming in it, so I'm pretty excited. Yeah, I bet. Okay, let's get to work.
Well, thanks, Chaz. I guess you get to go back to do more homeschooling. Yeah. Lunch break's over. This was kind of like phys ed class, I guess, hey? It would be, yeah. You wor we wor worked up a sweat. It's warm out. It is. Why do you think I asked you to help me with this project? Well, I think you asked me to help you because it would get done faster. And then in turn, we can put those plants in, make it look nice, and we can enjoy it sooner and for a longer period of time. And do you think it's more like work or are you kind of excited to do the work? I, I'm excited to do the work because then I get to go swimming in my pool and have it look nice too. It, it's not like a chore or anything. See? Work ethic. Yeah. Yeah, good old farm boy here. <laughs> All right, so one project off of my list today. Chaz is such a big help for doing stuff like this. I'm so grateful. Um, unfortunately, that they are at... Um, doing their two weeks of homeschooling for him to be able to have this opportunity um, to help during the day, but it really helps. <laughs> and I think he's pretty excited about his pool. So um, I'm just putting stuff away, but I wanted to take a minute and talk about something that I know I'm going to get a lot of, uh, a lot of maybe complaining about. Um, so what a lot of people um have talked about recently is you see all it all over posts on social media about making sure that you don't clear out your garden boxes too soon because there's lots of bees and caterpillars and butterflies that are um living in the mulch and the dead uh, plant matter. So here's my thing about that, about this project. Um, the first thing is uh, I live in zone two, meaning um, my grow season is extremely short. So if I wait too long, I won't be able to do anything. Um, secondly, <laughs> I won't be able to grow anything because um, by the time everything wakes up, and does its thing, it, it, it can kind of be late in the season. Secondly, around the pool, I don't want bees um, nesting around my pool area. In fact, it's very, very hazardous. So for that reason, um, I do actually make sure that I am cleaning out around the pool area so that there isn't a bees hive, beehive or bees nest in those boxes. Um, I know bees, bees lives matter. And that's why I have a bumblebee nest that is in my lean to where my horse hay is and I get stung um, quite frequently in the summertime going in there, um, moving hay around and feeding my animals. So I do understand the importance of bees um, and I absolutely do plant a lot of pollinator um, attractor plants, and I do have a lot of food and habitat here for these species of animals. But around the pool area, um, it is not safe um, to have, or in, a, in an area where your kids are playing, it is not safe to have a bee's hive there. The butterflies that may be um, cocooned, the only butterfly that would be in that area, I'm just trying to figure out where to put some tools here. Things get moved around quite frequently. Tyson appreciates it so much when I organize things for him and put them in the drawers where I think they should go. And then I go back and then they're not there anymore and they're in another drawer. Oh, look at that, he even, if only he could make his socks look that neat. Men, husbands, my husband. Maybe that's, maybe it's just mine. I don't know, ladies. <laughs> does, does, your, does your husband's tool lock box look a lot neater than his sock drawer? I don't even think my husband has a sock drawer. I think he has like a sock bin and there's three bins actually, I'm pretty sure. Um, anyway, so back to it. Um, I, the types of bugs that would be in those in that area would be um moths that are pests so the only type of moth that would lay eggs um there 
would be those cabbage moth ones because that's the only type of butterflies that were there in that area this year because the butterflies weren't in that zone at all because around that pool area there is no real food source um it was just grass and um so the butterflies would typically they um, are populated mostly in our lilac bushes which is on the other side of our house so i'm not too worried about butterflies or um that kind of thing so i know that there's been some very very concerned people and i'm grateful that there's been concerned people um, all over social media and whatnot about making sure that the bees and the butterflies have a habitat and are not killed when you take out the um take that stuff out of your garden early you have to remember i live in the middle of nowhere um, we don't use chemicals. Our, the habitat that we have here, um, there's a lot of there's a lot of spaces and places, and we have no shortage of bees and butterflies in our area. There was years that there were. I'm not gonna lie. Um, we have gone through phases where there has been a shortage, and I haven't. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't attribute cleaning out garden boxes or raking lawns to the reason that there's no bugs. Um, I think that's a whole other issue. And um, so, you know, consider that um, if you are someone who thinks it was, I was cleaning out the garden boxes prematurely. Again, this is like, we're the 10th or the 11th. I don't know. We're somewhere. This is the, the 11th, I think. This is the second week of May. And I just cleaned out my garden boxes in zone two. So, um, the leaves are not out yet. It is it is really early for us, but um, for some of you, it's not. For some of you, it's really late, but things are just waking up right now and coming out of dormancy, and I do not want bees um, n nesting in my pool area. So I wanted to just put that out there because I know a lot of people are thinking it when they're getting attacked a little bit for getting a early start on their garden projects. And I don't think that, um, I think there is definitely room for concern and perhaps um, it gets a little bit escalated sometimes. So my two cents, um, I definitely, I do appreciate though that there are people that are super, super concerned of the well-being because sometimes it does get out of hand. And if you are in an area where there isn't a lot of habitat for bees and butterflies, um, it is something that needs to be addressed. Um, in this area, it's not uh, an issue. We have a lot of a lot of space around where they can live, and um, and in fact, they do live. And I haven't come across actually having a bees nest around the pool area. This is the second year with us having that pool planter. And I definitely don't want any infestations of any sort in there of insects. So I have to do my due diligence and keep it cleaned out. Anyways, enough rambling. I should get back to my other work. Um, so thanks for watching. And uh, I hope that we inspired you to tackle something in your backyard or, you know, get creative. Every little thing, it, it's, even though there wasn't a lot of changes today, it was a real sense of accomplishment. And I think that that needs to be a goal right now for a lot of us, especially during this pandemic, especially during this two week lockdown with the kids at home. Find something that you can achieve and accomplish together. And that's been our goal here in our house. And I hope we inspire you to make that a goal in yours. So much love. Take care.